close your eyes and let your mind settle down with the breath. It's been running around all morning. Now it's time to give it a place to rest so it can gather its strength and then see things for what they are. The mind needs its strength, just like the body does. We strengthen the mind through conviction that its actions really do make a difference, so you have to be very careful about what you do. That gives you more energy, more desire, more motivation to really look carefully at training the mind, because our actions come out of the mind. And then this persistence, you stick with it. If you're focusing on the breath, you don't focus on just one or two breaths and say, well, you're done with that. You notice that the breath has two things, it has in and out, that's all you need to know. That's not the case. There's a lot more to the breath. At the same time, the whole purpose of this is to give the mind a place to rest. It's like putting an ointment on a rash. If you put the ointment on and then you wipe it off immediately, it's not going to be able to do its work. You put the ointment on and you let it stay there. And gradually, over time, it can cure the rash. In the same way, when you stay with the breath and it soothes the mind, strengthens the mind, it's going to take time. So you stick with it. Come back and back. You have to remember that's what mindfulness is all about. Because you have to remember you want to stay here and you also remember why you're here. In case other thoughts come in and say, hey, I'd like to wander off someplace else. You say, nope, this, there's work to be done here. The mind needs to be strengthened. And this is how you strengthen it, by getting it really, really still. Now, to get it still it requires other things become active, though. The mindfulness has to be active, your alertness has to be active. So it's not like you're falling asleep. And falling asleep gives you one kind of rest, but being still and alert at the same time, that gives another kind of rest. It really does strengthen good qualities in the mind. As the mind develops concentration, okay, then it can stay more solidly with things, not get pushed around so easily. And then it learns how to use that strength wisely through discernment. So all these things strengthen the mind, so it doesn't have to burden itself unnecessarily, and can actually deal with the issues as they come up in life. So think of your mind as being like a small child that has to be strengthened, has to be nourished. You nourish it with conviction, persistence, mindfulness, concentration, and discernment, and it's going to grow. It's going to be a healthy adult. All too many of us get reach adulthood and well past just reaching adulthood, well into the last part of life, and our minds are still like children. We just go for whatever we li like, whatever we want, whatever comes in the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and the body, without thinking about the long-term consequences. Is when you think about the long-term, you realize that the mind has to be strengthened, has to be adult about things. Learn to be an adult about your search for happiness, and you'll find that you achieve a happiness that really is reliable, one that's strong, that, like that's been strengthened by the qu qualities of conviction and persistence, mindfulness, concentration, and discernment. A happiness that's not worn away by the world. <laughs>